So Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been, quote, brutally downgraded as the royal family's website has seen a revamp, with the couple now moved all the way to the bottom. There have also been some other updates that I will run through in this video. So according to the new report, the royal family's website has undergone a slew of tweaks to bring it up to date and make it more accurate. But despite the shiny new tweaks that the site has undergone, following a barrage of inaccuracies being unveiled last year, Prince Harry's page is still littered with errors. The Duke of Sussex's profile page still states that he and Meghan still have royal patronages, which of course they gave back to the Queen after they stepped down as working royals, and it still says that they are splitting their time between the UK and North America. On Harry's profile page, it states that, quote, as announced in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess have stepped back as senior members of the royal family. They are balancing their time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honour their duty to the King, the Commonwealth and their patronages. Meanwhile, the landing page dedicated to members of the royal family, which features clickable photographs of each member before displaying their biographies and their profiles, sees both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle bumped all the way down the list. The pair have seemingly been quietly downgraded, of course, and now appear right at the bottom of the page, which at the end of the day is not very surprising, considering they are not working royals and all of the controversies that they have caused for the family. Meanwhile, Prince William and Catherine, the Princess of Wales profiles on the royal family's website have also received updates as the Princess of Wales continues to rest at her home in Windsor following abdominal surgery. The Wales's royal bios received a fresh makeover earlier this week, showing new photos and information, and I will have been putting up on the screen now all of the new profile pictures for all the different members of the Wales family, to bring them more up to date with recent events. The biography of the Princess of Wales also has a more up-to-date picture of her smiling at a meeting with the Windrush Cymru Elders, which kicked off the start of Black History Month in Cardiff in Wales back in October 2023. Prince William, the Prince of Wales, also has a new picture of him standing on stage during the coronation concert on the day that King Charles was crowned in May 2023. Both royal profiles have been loaded with more information about the couple's charity work, which include personal statements about the reason that they support certain causes. For example, the princess raises awareness about the importance of early childhood experiences, and in 2021, she launched the Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood. The Wales children also have had their personal bios changed on the website to include new pictures since their birthdays in 2023. Prince George, who's 10, Prince Charlotte, who's 8, and Prince Louis, who is 5, have much shorter bios than their parents, but have included information about their birthplaces and education. The royal website has slowly been updated since the death of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022 to reflect the new king's reign. But the shift is not completely complete, as one page, for example, explaining how to greet a member of the royal family, still refers to the sovereign being the queen. But Buckingham Palace has previously released a statement explaining that the process may take some time, saying, quote, Following the death of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, content has been revisited and updated periodically. Some content may still be out of date until this process is complete. So let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, and while you're there, please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching.